Welcome back to our series on probability theory. I'm Mark Ledbetter. This is lecture video 26, and we're going to finish up the Poisson distribution. Last time, we introduced the approximate Poisson process, and that led to the Poisson distribution, or PMF. We then talked about the, we introduced the moment generating function, and then used it to derive the mean and variance. We were not able to talk about the shape because I had a technical glitch. So this time we're going to talk about the shape of the distribution for various uh, lambda, do some examples, and uh, talk about the approximation of the Poisson for the binomial distribution. <clears throat> so let's look at the shapes. So what we'll notice is for lambda equals 0.7, we have an extremely uh, skewed distribution, skewed to the right. When we increase lambda to 1.3, we have a less, we still have a skewed distribution, but now it's not uh, just completely uh, skewed to the left. We do have a little bit of a peak. And we increase again to 6.5, and now we still have a skewed distribution, but it's uh, looking a little more uh, symmetrical. And by the time we get to 10.5, we have a fairly symmetrical distribution. So now let's look at an older. Uh, let's look at an example. Uh, some of you may, some of you may not be familiar with older technology that was used to back up computer drives, and it was called a computer tape. And it was known to have flaws, and the flaws were bad records, so files that were corrupted basically. And um, we're going to say in a particular situation that let's say this computer tape has an average of one flaw per 1,200 feet. If we assume a Poisson distribution, uh, what's the distribution of x if the number of flaws and uh, the number of flaws in a 4,800 foot roll? Okay, so we want to know the distribution of x, which is the number of flaws in a 4,800 foot roll. I'll get it out eventually. Um, <clears throat> then, so let's do that problem right now. So that's a the expected number of flaws in 4,800 feet, we take 4,800 and divide by 1,200, and we get 4. And so E of x is 4. That means lambda equals 4. We take and we uh, into the PMF, and we substitute for lambda. Uh, we substitute 4. That's supposed to be a lambda. And so we end up with this as our PMF here. The next question is, what's the probability of getting four flaws? So that's the probability that x is equal to 4. So we plug in 4 for lambda, and I mean for x. We have 4 for lambda as well. That gives us 1, 0.195366, etc. And we round that to four decimal places and get 0.1954. So a little over 19.5% chance of getting four uh, defects. And then we want to know the probability of at most four flaws. So 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. But instead of adding up all of those, let's use the Poisson table with x equals 4 and lambda equals 4. So here's the Poisson. Oh, here's the put. Nope. So let me go find the Poisson table that I thought I had open. Here it is, and we're going to go to lambda equals 4, and um, so just how you read this is lambda is over here, and x is over down the side. So we have lambda 4, and we have 4, and so we use 0.629 from the table. And so <clears throat> we end up with 0.629 oops, here. All right. Now we could solve this, um, we could so solve B using the table as well. So in this case, we could use probability that x is equal to 4. That's the same thing as the probability that x is less than or equal to 4 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. And so 0.629 minus 0.433 would be our, um, would be what we would do here. We'd subtract these two. And then we get 
0.196, which is uh, fairly close to 0.1954. You see, uh, there is a little bit of difference, um, but if you're going to use the Poisson table, uh, then write down that you've used the Poisson table. That's where you're getting your information from, so I'll know. Now, the Poisson can be used as approximation for the binomial. So if x is distributed as a Poisson uh, variable with random variable with lambda as its parameter, so this is how we write it, and if we have a large n, uh, then we see that um, the probability that x is equal to x is approximately a binomial, where we've replaced p with lambda over n. And uh, then you'll see that lambda is equal to n, n p, and that's the mean of the binomial. And remember that the mean of the binomial, um, mu, was n times p, and lambda is the mean of the uh, Poisson. So if x is binomially distributed with n uh, and p as the parameters, then if we have a large n and a small p, the approximation is very good. And so what we can do is we can plug in for lambda, we'll plug in np, and so um, that's approximately equal to the uh, binomial distribution. And here is one case, if n is greater than um, 20 and p is less than 0.05, in this case, np is 1, and that works. If we make n larger, then p can be larger, so 100 and 0.1, and np in this case is 10. So np doesn't stay the same, which I found interesting. Um, but if you're pretty close to the limits, then you can uh, get pretty good uh, agreement. So let's do an example of a manufacturer of Christmas tree lights, and this person and this manufacturer knows that two percent of its of its bulbs are defective. If we assume independence of the bulbs, and uh, the average number of defective bulbs in a box of one hundred then is going to be two, and the defective bulbs have a binomial distribution in a hundred point oh two as the probability. 2 over 100. We want to use the Poisson approximation to estimate the probability that the box of 100 has at most three defective bulbs. So the first thing we need to do is calculate lambda, and that's going to be np, and we get 2. And then we uh, plug into our PMF, and we get this as our PMF, 2 to the x, e to the negative 2 over x factorial. We want the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. We could calculate these individual probabilities, but I'm not going to. We're going to go to the Poisson table. Lambda is 2, and x is 3. Lambda is 2. x is, let me get rid of that, 2. And x is 3. Lambda 2, x 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 8, 5, 7. Point 0.857 is the probability. If we use the binomial and quite a few tedious um, calculations, because we'd have to do um, three of these binomial calculations, we get 0.859. And so this is a, approximately a 2% error um, here. So or 0.2% error. So we take 857, 859 minus 857, which is uh, 002, divide that by the actual, which is 0.859, and that's a 0.2% thereabouts, a little, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. It's very close. Okay, so that finishes up the Poisson distribution for us. Don't forget to scan your lecture notes uh, before midnight of the date listed on the course calendar. Update uh, your list of distributions. If you, if you will, and um, you may want to update some formula sheet or something with the uh, approximation information. If you have questions, come to virtual office hours. If you can't come to virtual office hours, email me. Send me a picture of the uh, problem and of your work, and I'll be able to help you uh, a lot quicker and a lot easier that way. Take care, and we will see you next time.